what's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and learn about what does it mean to be Canadian? How would you define Canadian culture, its identity? And today, I'm very interested to hear Canadians answer this question. And the way we're going to do that is by looking at this Reddit discussion where somebody asked, what does it mean to be Canadian? And a lot of Canadians responded to this question. And I'm really interested to take a look at these answers. Um, they continued, what is it to be Canadian? I was born and raised in Canada five generations, and I'm still confused. And I feel like there isn't much unity in what being Canadian really is. This is really interesting for, for me to take a look at as well. From my American point of view, I, I think I can actually relate to this quite a bit. Um, certainly in the United States here, I think we're facing the same identity crisis, you could say, at least some of us, where it's like, what does it mean to be American? Especially in this modern day and age, with all this uh, political and ideology dividing us. There's the internet. We're more connected to the world than ever before. We're hearing more opinions than ever before. Everyone's got an opinion. And uh, there's a lot of divisiveness that's probably been born out of that and, and maybe some identity crisis along the way. I mean, it's when you, especially when you compare life to like even 20 years ago, 30 years ago, like before the internet, and then life like 50, 100 years ago, uh, I think a lot of us had a lot better idea in our mind of like, what, what does it mean to be an American? Oh, the American dream, you know, or what does it mean to be Canadian? Um, and funny enough, Americans have our own stereotypical idea of what being a Canadian means. So I'm really interested in this discussion. This may come across as controversial, but I just feel disconnected from my country. I mean, no disrespect. And this is, this is interesting for me to hear about because I, I had no idea people felt this way in Canada. Um, sitting here from the United States, you know, we don't, we don't know anything about, like, what's going on in other parts of the world, even Canada, or certainly not what Canadian society is feeling and thinking. So this is, a, this is an interesting look into that for me. Tell me what you consider Canadian. Even experiences, road trips, traditions would be cool to hear. We are more than an over-apologetic country. <laughs> exactly. If, if, if you ask Americans, like, what is Canadian culture? We're just like, I don't know, saying sorry, igloos, maple syrup. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at some of the answers here from Canadians. Uh, what does it mean to be Canadian? Being polite, having manners waiting your turn, respecting personal space. So a lot of these are actually, this is like how an American would kind of, if we were forced to answer that question for you, for Canadians, we would be like, I don't know, being polite. But as it, that's not as surface level as it seems, I think. Like a lot of Americans might kind of chuckle at this and be like, oh, yeah, saying being polite. But uh, from, from what I've learned, like learning about Canada on the internet and seeing this comment, there's more truth to this, like a more meaningful truth to it. Like Canada, literally people are more of a community, like compared to Americans here in America, you're literally, you're literally taught here. Like look out for yourself, get ahead, grind, hustle, do what you have to do to survive and to get ahead, lie, cheat and steal to, you know, to, to succeed, succeed at any cost. And uh, I think when you dive into this Canadian idea of like, yeah, be polite, have manners, have some empathy, care about other people, wait your turn, respect personal space. It's like, that is a significant cultural difference. It really is. And it, it matters. Lining up single file, even when there's no ropes or security footage forcing you to, right, right, being good, being a good person when you're not forced to be, choosing to be, that's, like, that's fantastic. That's very good. I love that that's part of the Canadian identity. Being careful, 
to not annoy the person next to you while in public. <laughs> that's, that's literally calling out Americans, like, without explicitly saying it. <laughs> that's literally calling out Americans. Yeah, being careful not to annoy the person next to you. Americans definitely, if I had to describe us, we don't care how we affect other people. Or at least, you know, a lot of Americans have that mentality, I think. <laughs> oh, so true. Balancing personal freedoms with a healthy respect for collective rights. That's certainly been more relevant or very, very relevant now compared to other points in history, for sure. According to the Canadian government, a Canadian is a Canadian is a Canadian. So I guess being a Canadian means whatever you want it to mean. There is something kind of uh, beautiful in this sentiment. Um, being a Canadian is whatever you make of it, whatever you want it to be. I, I, I kind of like that, but at the same time, you can't deny that like certain you know cultures literally have cultural identities and traditions that go along with them. So um, yes, being a Canadian can be however you define it, but uh, I guess I'm just curious how Canadians define it. I don't want to just leave it as okay. It's however you, it's whatever you want to be. I want to hear what what Canadians wa think it is and want it to be. Um, so let's take a look at some more comments. Uh, I get you. And it takes courage to be honest on Reddit because someone's going to call you out. My wife and I took a 10-week trip from the Yukon to the Yukon from the north shore of Lake Ontario. I was impressed by the sheer size of land and even more impressed by the few people who are friendly and helpful. I learned smoked fish is fantastic. Okay. Human population on the land is rare. We spent a lot of time maintaining infrastructure for a... Uh, very sparse population. I think after all I've seen during their time visiting the Yukon, that being Canadian is about being humble, being prepared for whatever happens, being ready to help someone else without expectation of reward, and being truly grateful to live in such a huge place, and despite that, a safe place. This is a great answer. I really like this. And, uh, Interestingly, you know, we haven't gone through too many comments here, only like two or three, but this is already the second time that a Canadian is, is identifying Canadian culture, what it means to be Canadian, as humbleness, being prepared, being ready to help somebody without the expectation of reward. I really love that. I think, you know, literally, you know, not to get too scientific here, but, you know, the purpose of, like, building a community in the first place is, you know, helping each other, getting further in life. Whether that's back in the day, like just building shelter and hunting animals and surviving, or, it, you know, and it extends in today's world where our priorities have changed. But uh, goodwill towards your fellow human never goes out of style, I hope. At least not in Canada, from what I see. And that's just fantastic that that seems to be a part of Canadian life. What you're taught is normal to be, to have a sense of community. Um, humbleness, I love. Being prepared, yes, especially in Canada. Um, literally, you know, we, we're fortunate to live in this day and age where most people have the uh, luxury of modern technology to, to help us live comfortably. But Canada ha is like, you know, harsher, like literally in terms of climate and weather. Um, it's a harsher life. It's cold. <laughs> um, you might get stuck on the side of the road. Um, you might need help being prepared for whatever happens. That sense of being prepared is uh, something that humans, I think, need, like dating back to, you know, the old days and, and should still have to this day. So I like that. I like that a lot. At the end of it all, it was good to get back home within 90 minutes of Toronto. But travel really does change people, hopefully for the better. So this person had to, they felt like they had to travel to the Yukon to see some of like more, I don't know, natural Canadian existence, or at least, you know, a small community and cold weather. That'll snap you right into <laughs> what it means to be Canadian. Uh, what does it mean to be Canadian today? Nobody knows. I don't mind this answer. I don't mind it at all because it's very honest. 
Um, that That's an answer. Uh, glad I'm not the only one feeling this. Guess being a Canadian means being confused. Fascinating. Fascinating. Because I also feel like a lot of Americans would give that answer to what does it mean to be American. Um, so I, I don't mind that. Let, let's see if there's uh, some more comments here getting specific about what does it mean to be Canadian, in their opinion. I have to agree a bit, as I don't feel like I have an actual identity outside of a few areas. My family has been here for generations, but I'm not indigenous or, or metis, if I'm saying that correctly. I have French Canadian, but distant. Um, my other distant relatives are Irish and English. I see people loving Canada, but having a connection to their home country. I don't have a home country outside of Canada. Maybe they're referring to uh, Canada has a lot of diversity, a lot of immigration. So now, nowadays, sort of a more modern trend, there's a lot of people that identify as Canadians, but also identify literally from a, another country that they immigrated from recently. So they almost have two homes. Um, but this person, I don't have a home country outside of Canada. My relatives were unremarkable in history. I can't claim anything extraordinary in my Canadianism. So here's the Canadian humbleness coming out. Uh, maybe this Canadian doesn't even realize it, but they're already sort of identifying what it means to be Canadian. And it, from, from this comment, it means being quite introspective and humble, admitting you don't understand everything. You, him, they're even saying, you know, I'm not extraordinary. I used to want to be indigenous. I wanted to be black or Italian, anything. I'd say I'm Irish, but that's only a part of my lineage. Eventually, I became a proud Canadian. I was into politics, loved our health care, proud to be from this country wherever I went. I love hockey. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. What does it mean to be Canadian? I love hockey and real beer. <laughs> real beer? Hey. <laughs> I love maple syrup. And to go to the maple syrup festivals, sugar shacks. I like poutine. Vegetarian poutine. Oh, God. I love, <laughs> what, poutine has, I guess the gravy? Anyway, uh, I love butter tarts, Nanaimo bars. It's not important to love these things, but I happen to enjoy them. Right, these are, these are, you know, when you point to what defines your culture, you do point to stuff like, where do you live? What's, what's your climate like? But also, what do you eat? What are your traditions? What are your pastimes? Uh, so hockey and Nanaimo bars and poutine count, of course. Yes, part of my identity is that I'm not American. Is that, uh, is that a sentiment that a lot of Canadians have? Um, that's very interesting to me. Americans certainly don't think our identity is, oh, we're not Canadian, we're not this and not that. But uh, <laughs> Americans as a whole definitely border on having an ego problem. So we're ne <laughs> it's just not in our DNA, I think, to, to think in those terms of like, I'm not them. It's more to think, I am American. Uh, whereas Canadians more, I, I understand this. Canadians kind of have to deal with America being uh, literally, physically uh, just south and like a, a massive presence, basically. But it rather, it just rather reminds me of the great stuff about Canada. I've been a, <laughs> thinking about not being American helps can Canadians appreciate Canada. Oh my, <laughs> that's not good for America. Oh, but uh, I don't mind it. This is a really interesting take, actually. I've been across the country and I really do love it. I feel very much a homegrown Canadian. Maybe the extent of the multiculturalism that I love about the country has also taught me to want more, but being a multi-generational Canadian is also part of my identity. Right. Yeah, that is that's that is sort of interesting. Like, they're saying they want to appreciate being a Canadian, like, through and through, as in they were born there and their parents were born in Canada and their parents' parents' parents were born in Canada, but also appreciate the multiculturalism and diversity and immigration growth that's happening in Canada and appreciating that as well. Um, okay. I think in the end, loving the Canadian values is all it means to be Canadian. I agree with that. Yeah, I like that. I like that way of putting it. 
if like being connected. Yeah, that's it. I've never heard it phrased like that before. Loving the values of where you live. Loving the Canadian values is what it means to be Canadian. Yes, I, I, that's actually an interesting way of putting it. Yes, we respect each other and our experiences. Our humor and civility is what we got from our parent country, Britain. France gave us a bit of spice and some laissez-faire attitude. <laughs> and the U.S. not only expands our opportunities, but reminds us of how lucky we are. What is this? What is... <laughs> Again with this... Uh... Man, the U.S. just reminds us how great it is to not be the U.S. Uh, I go to cultural festivals all the time and now embrace the mosaic that is Canada. We look out and care for each other. That's what it means to me. It's a good essay. That concludes my essay. It was a good essay. I like that. A lot of good, a lot of good thoughts in there, actually. Yeah, Canada is quite a unique place, uh, and I never thought about it. Like, there's traditional Canadian values, and now there's also sort of values and culture being brought into Canada from other parts of the world. So Canada, the, the culture of Canada is changing and evolving uh, right now, literally. Which might be sort of sort of explain the premise of this whole discussion. The first person who posed this question here, what does it mean to be Canadian? They said they don't even know anymore. And, and maybe there's this cultural identity crisis that's happening for some people. Because it seems like Canadian culture is changing. Same thing with here in America, for sure. I'm grateful to not be expected to conform to a nationalistic idea of Canadianness. Being Canadian can mean being yourself, appreciating the, this place, enjoying food and culture from around the world. Live and let live. I love that answer as well. I love that. It, it does feel like to me being Canadian is appreciating Canadianness and classic Canadian culture and tradition and values, but also being open to the world and to ideas and uh, being humble. That some of the things people said before, being humble, being open-minded, being kind, being empathetic, uh, community. I love that. I love these answers. And I also uh, appreciate the answers here that some Canadians gave that were just like, I don't know. I don't know what it means to be Canadian anymore. I think that's perfectly fine. So with that, I think that's a good place to stop here. Uh, I, I'm very satisfied. I, I enjoyed this quite a bit. A lot of fantastic answers, which with a, for a pretty difficult question, you know, what does it mean to be Canadian? Some pretty interesting discussion here. So I, I thought this was great, very insightful. And um, a point of view that I, as an American, don't, uh, don't really get in on. Like, I don't get to be a part of this discussion or thought process from here in America. So I felt like this was me getting to peek behind the curtain a little bit and, and see Canadians talk about this subject. So I enjoyed this quite a bit. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment, perhaps with your answer to the question, what does it mean to be Canadian? That would be fantastic to hear some answers to that question. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Canada and Canadian culture, feel free to subscribe. For more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.